I come from the Beijing, and I think it's a little far from here. <laughs> um, as for you know the contact project, this uh, the same is sustain you know ability using in, uh, in the innovation design. Um, you know, in China, it's kind of the overproduced and overconsuming now. But um, I think it's very important issues for us to pay more attention on sustainable design. So um, I want to share some experience with you at this time. So uh, I'm Bingbing Du from Beijing Institute of Fashion Technology. Thank you. Um, uh, in this. Um, presentation. It was divided four parts. Sorry. Firstly, I will introduce a bit, and next is uh, something about fashion. You know, consumption error in Beijing city, and then we focus on some, you know, major consumption trends in fashion industry in China. And the last part is about something about you know sustainability design in bit now. So let's move to the big introduction. The whole name is Beijing Institute of Fashion Technology. And I come from the School of Fashion Arts and Engineering. Um, yes, say some details about that. So the you know, institute consists of several departments. It was <coughs> divided into several departments and faculties that involve in fashion design and clothes engineering materials science engineering, artistic design, and also some other, you know, business administration and etc. And as for now, you know, um, I now want to read one by one, sorry, <laughs> because there are so many words there. I just get it quickly and you can catch them. Just, if you like, just read it, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, uh, I want to move another page. There are so many students there. Um, Beijing Institute of Fashion Technology is just an institution. It's not kind of comprehensive you know, university. So that means there are mm, just 9,000 students there, and near 6,000 you know, uh, underground students, <coughs> sorry, undergrad uh, you know, students. Mm. But the employment rate of students are, are very high at the moment in, you know, bit is keep about 19, uh, you know, higher, I think it's higher now. So this is also a, a great number for me because I think, um, um, yeah, a large, pro sorry, <laughs> um, a large proportion of the students now graduated from uh, Bit in the past 50, you know, six years because Bit established in 1959. So there is means there were some designers and yes, maybe their leading roles in textile engineering and the fashion design in the China now. Sorry. Yes, the next page is um, the School of Fashion Art and Engineering. Uh, it was has divided several, that means seven departments. The first is Women's Well, that means link the fashion design. Yeah, the fashion design Women's Well, fashion design Men's Well, Meet Well, Sports Well. And next is product development, and also the fashion design on buying and merchandising, also performance. Yeah, uh, the next one is the communication. communication. Medium and communication. Hmm. I think in the second semester of the each year, we hold a kind of the fashion show week to showcase what we have achieved during that whole year. So the show is there. Uh, because we have educated and trained many outstanding fashion models. Yeah. So um, we can get uh, uh, excellent achievements. Uh, yes, that means the models have get some excellent achievements on the domestic or the international, you know, uh, fashion show stage. This page posted is in, in last year, with the 2014 fashion show week. 
The poster is designed and photographed by the students in yeah, it. And there was another page I want to share with you is some, you know, show uh, on this page is stage direct and performed by the students. Okay. We also have invited some, you know, professional uh, companies from the business to be a judge and you know during the show week there is also plenty of the communication and exchange between the students and, and uh, how to say fetch company. Uh, let's get a move uh, so get a quick move to another page. This is a bit the part I think it's a very important platform to all of the students and fashion uh, designers to share their uh, design works. Um, yeah, this is uh, is the f at the first floor of the you know Beat Park. There was um, individual design studios. Uh, you can find some. <laughs> that means find some place to um, how do you say um, sell them? S uh, sorry, sell the design work um, at you know the Beat the Park first floor. Sorry for my second language. <laughs> a bit nervous. Sorry. All right. Um, I just want to say, yeah, Bib has made some progress on you know cultivating new designers and new fashion innovation design. Now they give them a very open platform to let them can enter the, you know the fashion world. So this is our job. I think it's a great job for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's also kind of custom, uh, cust yeah. Uh, men's collection release, yeah. And also we have some, you know, activities just like painting our sky. Yeah, there are so many pollution in Beijing, in China now. It's a very serious problem. So we want to do some efforts to evoke others to know our situation. Um, I think in this uh, you know, presentation, the key error uh, is in Big Park traditional handcraft studio. Mm. <coughs> yes. There are so many education hall and the museum, you know, um, in this uh, traditional handcraft studio. Mm, yes, they are supported from the Beijing government. We are so yeah, lucky for receive those kind of support from government. And the first page, uh, first uh, no, the person here <laughs> is the president of the beat, and with him is the mayor of the Beijing. Yeah. Uh, Miss Go Jin Nong. Uh, he always go to the museum to take a look of the you know the situation of the environment of the uh, you know traditional costume museum and pay more attention how to improve those kind you know the study uh, learning environment. So we are so lucky. That means <coughs> you can do something on this you know traditional culture uh, elements as a very important, you know, a kind of the uh, informa sorry, uh, inspiration to explain sustainable design. Yeah. I want to share with you later in this, you know, traditional studio in Beat. So let's move to another part, it's Beijing fashion consumption era. Um, it's from the Beijing's culture has have a long history <laughs> there. I mean, it means uh, mm, it's kept of thousands of years. It's about 3,000 years, long history. Um, this is an ancient yet modern city, I think. Yeah. The city covers more than 160, you know, some square. Mm -hmm. And currently, there are more than 21 million, million permanent residents. So crowded now. 
And you know, there were so many, many different kinds of uh, shopping malls and uh, consumption area located in different corners of the Beijing. I think Beijing is the only Chinese mainland city listed as the oldest fitting best shopping destination. There are more than 100 large and medium scale shopping malls in this city. Some traditional commercial areas of Beijing. Yeah. <coughs> and also combine, mix some you know, new building in this com traditional commercial yeah, shopping area. Okay. Just want to say something about this Joy City in Xidan. Um, it's an area, <laughs> it's uh, in the west of the Beijing. Mm. Um, this is managed by, you know, the Hong Kong management team. It's opened in 2008, and I think it fits all other modes inside design and concept. It's another very big shopping center. <coughs> so sometimes you are missing in this kind of shopping area. There are colorful shopping consumption error, and you are one color of them, but you can not find where are you because so many, many shopping, you know, um, boutiques, and it's kind of shopping, how do you say, uh, serves there. So a city of rich is, <coughs> is not means very, how do you say, it's very healthful, I mean the consumption. Um, yes, maybe that is uh, my point I want to share with you in the la next part, the consumption trends in China, Beijing. And let's take a look at a lot of uh, other, some other pictures in, uh, you know, Beijing uh, consumption areas, just like Sandy Tun Village. It's at light, yeah. And also, some Hutong uh, district, Nan Luo Hu Xiang. You know, the stadium is original from the Hutong's color, gray and red. Yeah. <laughs> and also some other picture. I will get a quick click, sorry. Yeah, just take a look at the picture. And also we have some kind of another artistic, you know, consumption error. This is, um, in Beijing Qijiu Ba district. You know the numbers? Yeah. Yeah. Um, some antique markets. Yeah. It's also very popular now. <coughs> Next, I want to uh, move to this page. It's major consumption, you know, trends of Chinese fashion industry. Mm. Firstly, it's kind of, you know, You know, in fact, there was three of them I want to share with you. A little bit difference between, you know, the screen. 
you can see that in front means. There are three trends that I want to uh, talk to you. The first is something about the fashion brands, and the next is the fashion channel, and then is the fashion designers. Yeah. I think for the fashion brands, this ability. It's a kind of, you know, a good brands would not just only require the ability to the generate strong economic gems, but also, you know, the power to promote social development. So that is perhaps why we have talked about sustainable design based on the, you know, the fashion brands. Oh, there are <laughs> Sorry. Um, colorful background there. Uh, <laughs> yes. In this page, I think there was uh, two different, you know, uh, trends. The first is for the luxury goods, and next is for the, you know, the fast fashion. There was two trends in the. Uh, you know, this city now. So sorry, I'm <laughs> it's so this maybe you can read it because is that right? Yeah. Sorry. Because the uh, marketing is changed so uh, quickly, they should face the new market trends. And uh, the trends is not just um, just two of them. Um, it's based on two of them, and to look more information to get there. And now there were close, you know, <coughs> to 100 micro course shop in China. Here we um, located three uh, brands. The first is Michael Coase, and the second is Tony Birch, and then is Kate Spring. It's rarely become popular to China, you know, Chinese consumer, not just some, you know, the Versace product, Prada or Dior. Yeah. Um, now, there are close to 100 Michael Coase shops in China, located in Beijing, Shanghai, and Hong Kong. And as for the young <coughs> people here, so fast fashion brands target young people. That means H&M, Unique, Zara, or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's their favorite. But it's for diversified market full of unique brands. Yeah. Here is another example for a uh, kind of the uh, fashion brands. The name is Red Color Group. It's from the Qingdao city uh, in the Shandong province. I think the it's the first in China to start internet customization has successfully, you know, so those kind of conflict between the individualization and industrialized mass products. Yeah. Um, the red color group has, you know, reached an output value of the price, two billion yuan last year, and made it to measure well of around 2,600 to 2,800 uh, items one day. So what kind of fashion channel you really to use? And this I want to say uh, now. And now this, the, you know, I want to read one by one. This is my province now. So please. Yes, maybe you can catch the words on your screen. It's bigger than me. <laughs> bigger than me. Yeah, sorry. No. Yeah. Um, 
Yes, maybe uh, now, just uh, from the, you know, the Chi China Fashion Index 2014, the trendy people group generally is mostly placed marked by trendy lifestyle in their leisure time. Um, such as a restaurant, cafeteria, cinema, luxury stores, or gym. These places are no longer simply places by consumption or buy. Instead, they more, you know, they pay more attention to the leisure and the trendy lifestyle. So buying is not just the buying. Buying is the kind, is kind of enjoyment. So how can I get this kind of enjoyment in buying? It's very more important than just buying. Yeah. Kind of the fashion trend has started the transformation from flow economic to experience economic and entertainment economic. Yeah. It's like the creative trips, organic farms, the active you know, sculptures, art gallery, and artistic space of this kind of various themes have turned shopping centers into the convergence of culture and artistic trends. Yeah, that's very popular in Beijing. So let's move to uh, another trend. It means the fashion designers. Mm. The rise of original fashion designers, China power and original uh, designers is the main talks, uh, topics I want to talk to you. So now in China, consumers are going from blindly worship the you know, mad brands from foreign individualization fashion trends. And the China's original designers are embrace a new era full of opportunities. These designers are the I think it's located here. There is uh, six um, famous designers in China now. Are the cornerstones of China's fashion design in the uh, industry today? They are, yeah. I think more and more Chinese fashion consumers start to favor design with Chinese culture factors. They prefer trendy products with texture and unique design features, and pursue low-key luxury with class and cultural connotation. Yeah. Many designers with education background overseas came from, you know, came back to the Chinese. Maybe <laughs> came from. Uh, that means studied in British. Like, and came back to the China to start their own designer brands and business. And they have become a new and a rigorous force of fashion, influencing and changing the landscape of the fashion industry in China now. There are more and more new power there. Yeah. So, <coughs> as shown by service of China's trendy people groups, near 50% of the consumers have purchased two to five clothes items from locally designers' brands in the last year, in past year. An average is 4.4 uh, clothes items per person. This is one of uh, designers from Fujian province. It's in the southeast of China, means Saint Kuzi. And some release on the London Fashion Week last uh, year. And I think it's very popular in both Beijing and UK. Um, now, let's move to another part. It's sustainability design application in Beijing info, uh, sorry, institution fashion technology. You know, traditional handcraft is used to create products designed to meet the current preference for fashion consumption. Uh, that means I want to uh, share this with you firstly. And some technology, you know, draw some technology with less environment damage from traditional mercers. Dials were made from plant based materials of cards, of some, you know, fabric, or also used to recreate materials. This is some um, uh, design from our staff, uh, Xue Fei. Oh, okay, the designer hope that the fashion design event will lead more people to know about natural conser uh, conservancy. It's associated, uh, association's name, yeah, means TNC. 
Mm. Um, so, the mission of the TNC is to protect the land, fresh water, and the ocean that all life on Earth depends on for survival. So as we, okay, as they protect the biodiversity, TNC also covers community sustainable development and people's need. We also hope to work with TNC together to rescue, protect, and continue the study of traditional clothes and design. These are some kind of the, you know, designs from the Xue Fei. Some pictures located here are works created by our students. It's uh, a fresh mm, New Year students. Some fashion uh, accessories. Yeah. Accessories just have well, made with scrap fabrics, steel wells, paper, and disposable paper cards. Yeah. Very interesting design. And at last, I want to share with you the reposing that fabric, just like the limbs and <laughs> Nichols mentioned, there were so many jeans you have. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you have, yeah. But how to use it again? It cannot be well again. So as our project, we just, you know, <clears throat> sorting, washing, and polishing, maybe blurring to create these works. Um, the many materials used in this process are edible, such as starch, adhesive, sorry, adhesive, and they are continuing to create more new products. This is um, some, you know, works we have done in reprocessing denim fabric from bead. And sorry, I also want to share with you this work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you give me a kind of platform to express my you know, understanding of design and innovation. Yeah. Thank you so much.